there was a survey done by the uh, National and the, uh, Complementary and Alternative Medicine uh, Center, you know, committee, and they say that in the United States, 40% of adults uses some form of complementary medicine other than their mainstream Western medicine. We have what we call integrative physical therapy, where we integrate uh, Ayurveda and yoga into mainstream physical therapy practice. Ayurveda is the oldest medical system in the world. It is based in India. It's 5,000 years old. I think most of us don't know that there are other medical systems in the world. Uh, we in the West usually know the Western medical system and model, but there are other systems that are what we call whole system. Uh, they can explain disease process from start to finish and wellness from start to finish. Uh, there is a little bit difference between um, a Western medicine model and Eastern medicine model. One is uh, Western medicine is highly um, into evidence-based practice. If it's, there's no research to support it, uh, it's not good. But in Eastern medicine, it's more like how do the person feel about the treatment? Uh, recent uh, years there has been an interest with the other systems of medicine to answer questions that western medicine cannot i don't know who said it but somebody said um, western medicine is medicine of war you know if you want you know quick fix for infection you want uh, immediate surgery it's a great medicine tool but then again for chronic cases it has somehow not able to answer and address it completely. The trend is integrative and complementary because we're trying to blend both systems. If there's one system, if the Western medical model don't answer the questions, then we find the answer from the other system. Maybe it can help the person better. Because in the end, it's about how will the patient be feeling better in general, not just a quick fix, but how will the patient live a life which is less pain-free, you know, pain-free, less injury, less harm.